Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial I'll show you how to animate a graphic loop including some infographics. Lots of things to do, so let's get right into it. Let's start with a new solid. Our master comp is 10 seconds long by the way. We add a gradient ramp and set the start and the end position of the ramp. Now some color, from black to dark blue. Let's swap the gradient. Do you all see the color bending? Here are some tips on how to avoid this. Number one, make sure your depth is at least 16 bits per channel. Number two, raise the ramp scatter. That should make it a lot better already. And number three, add noise. Around 5 to 6% should be enough. Okay, that looks pretty now. Let's copy the loop comp and rename it into pre background element. And add it to the loop master comp. We scale it down a little for now. Now we go into the comp and change the color gradient. We generally brighten it up a little and adjust the start and the end of the ramp. Let's animate the position. We set keyframes at 0 and 8 seconds. That's how long it takes the pre-comp to cross the screen from one side to the other. We scale it even a little smaller. Now we duplicate the pre-comp six times and spread them somehow evenly along the 10 seconds. By moving the anchor point up and down, we basically change the Y position of the elements. Now we move to the last frame of the comp. Then move even one frame further and split all layers that reach beyond the comp, pressing shift Control d Then we grab these new layers and move them to the first frame of the comp. There you are. A seamless loop. Maybe let's get rid of this shape. Seems a bit too much here. First step, done. Now let's copy the background element. Open the comp and make the color gradient brighter. This second element appears to be closer to the camera than the first one so it should be brighter and move faster. There we go. Let's add it to the master comp. Scale it down around 42-43% and set two keyframes at 0 and 5 seconds. This brighter shape will cross the screen within 5 seconds. We copy the comp three times and spread it along the comp. Changing the anchor points of these shapes spread them vertically. We split the layer, which is too long, and move the new part to the beginning. Another thing we can do now is scale the shapes a little different, so the shapes seem more random. Still making sure they are completely hidden at the beginning and the end.
Now, let's create our first infographics. New comp and a rectangle shape by double clicking on the rectangle tool. We scale the path down a little and change the fill color to a dark blue. Set the opacity to 50%. Now let's change the stroke color to a bright blue and the stroke width to 2 pixels. Let's add it to the master comp and take a look. Too big. We scale it down to around 50%. Back to the infographics comp. Let's blend in the proportional grid. By the way, I've set the preferences to horizontal 9 and vertical 7. Now let's draw the first line. Using the grid as guide. Set the stroke width to 2 pixels and also give it a bright blue color. Now we simply copy the path and move it down. And repeat that two more times. Let's adjust the frame a little. And of course name the layers. Now we want some elements to move along these lines. Let's start with a square. No fill and 100 pixels tall. We name the layer square. We want the line to disappear behind the square. Therefore, we copy the layer and call it square mask, which we parent to the square layer. Then we activate the fill, disable the stroke and give the fill a white color. Although the color doesn't matter in this case. Then we increase the size of the path to 110 pixels. Now we need to tell the line to take the mat of the square mask. We invert the mask. There we go, the line disappeared behind the square. To move the square we need to animate the position. But let's create the other elements first. We duplicate the two square layers and call them circle and circle mask. Instead of creating a new shape, we simply add round corners and increase the radius until the shape turns into a circle. Same with the mask. Now we position the circle somewhere on the second line. We need to tell the lines to disappear behind the circle with a little help of the set mat effect. We duplicate it and select the circle mask layer. A triangle will be next. We create a polystar shape with the polygon tool and reduce the points to 3. Disable the fill and reduce the outer radius to 75 pixels. Let's place it on the third line. Of course we name the layer triangle. Duplicate it and create a mask out of it, like before. Parent it to the triangle. Activate the fill. No stroke. And increase the size. Then we duplicate the set mat effect and select the triangle mask layer. Last but not least, we create a cross or an axe. 
Therefore, we create a polyester shape with a star tool. Reduce the points to 4, the inner radius to 0, the outer radius to around 73. Finally, we rotate it 45 degrees. Then we place it on the fourth line and name it cross. Create a mask out of it. Increase the stroke width to 10 pixels. Then we duplicate the set matte effect once more and select the cross mask layer. That's it. Let's get back to the master comp and animate the position of this infographic comp. A keyframe at 0 and the second one at 4 seconds. This element will be faster than the background ones because it seems to be the closest to the camera. At frame 0, left of the screen, after 4 seconds right of the screen. Let's scale it up a bit to around 75%. We've put so much work into it, everybody should be able to see it, right? Now we need to adjust the position again. Okay, we still need to animate these four elements. Let's set some position keyframes and move those elements around. Add easy ease in and shift them around a little. Copy the position keyframes and reverse keyframes to make them move back and forth. Let's see. Moving too slow, right? Boring. Let's speed these movements up a little. Much better. Now let's adjust the colors a little more. The background element seems a bit too dark. Let's add more blue to the gradient. Much better. Let's brighten up the infographics a little to let them stand out a bit more. Great. Let's create the second infographic. By first of all duplicating the infographic comp. Then we get rid of all the elements and masks. And also of the set matte effects. Now we create a new rectangle with the rectangle tool. Scale it a little. Like that. Reduce the stroke width to 4 pixels. Scale a bit more. And convert the shape into a Bessier path. Now we add a few points with the Add Vertex tool. We grab them and move them down while holding Shift. Now 
Now we form a nice chord. Then we add the trim pass tool. and set the end to around 55%. After 2 seconds we set the end to 100%. Add Easy Ease In and adjust the curve in the graph editor. Maybe we move the second keyframe to 3 seconds. Awesome. Next step, we place it in the master comp. By duplicating the first infographic comp and holding option while dragging the second infographic comp on top of it. That's how a comp is replaced. Now, let's move it to the right. And adjust the Y positions of the two infographics by moving the anchor point. Now let's duplicate the first infographic one more time and move it to the end of the comp. Split the layer and move the new layer to the beginning. That's it. Guys, that's how I animate graphic loops. Thanks for making it this far. Hope that was somehow helpful. I encourage you to add more details to the loop, like arrows or more shapes and all kinds of variations. Or even integrate it into another scene. If you have any kind of questions, let me know in the comments below. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And you all know that sharing is caring. I'd love to know how that tutorial inspired your work. Add the link in the comments below or tag me on Instagram. See you all next time. Bye!